comments. Potential European striker coming through. A lot of press boxes next year will have no broadcasters. They'll be remote. No dedicated independent website reporters. SB Nation is dead. What we were just talking about with Hot Time in Old Town. And some won't have a local paper or local news crew either. Will there be anyone at all in the press box? This one's interesting. MLS makes 2.5 billion deal with Apple. Two thirds of the broadcasters are laid off. MLS owners are paying 300 million for expansion teams. DP players are earning millions. Transfer fees topping 20 mil. But riders making 300 a month are getting fired. What the fuck is this ecosystem? I think that is something that is very concerning. I think that's a very concerning indicator for MLS, in my opinion. Gone from ESPN now, no longer on ESPN. Imprint in the impact of soccer is now has less impact with the disappearance of SB Nation and, to, and, and places like Hot Time and Old Town. As to me, they were almost like a lifeblood of the club. Another place besides Twitter where you could go and banter with fellow fans. Besides Reddit. I don't know what needs to be done. I don't know how what needs to be changed, but there is something wrong in the MLS ecosystem. And I agree. The money does not measure out with the level of interest. P-O-N-Z-I. Charles Ponzi. Interesting. Interesting character. MLS makes 2.5 million deal. Look at that. Billion. With Apple. But two thirds of the broadcasters are laid off. Where, what is this money going to? MLS owners are paying 300 million for expansion teams. Beckham got his for 25 million chips because he was offered a deal way back when. Does any of this smell right to you? Stalker insights for MLS do not get enough clicks or interest to warrant keeping them around. The main ones. Yet, MLS makes a deal for 2.5 billion with the Apple. It just doesn't make sense. There, there's something that doesn't add up here. And also, I mean, I can see the interest in Chicago Fire. Growing smaller and smaller and smaller. Is that happening at other clubs and other places? I wonder. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe Tokyo say possibly some gaming later. Maybe I was just doing a quick little Chicago Fire podcast and then uh, I'll have to reassess what the plan is later because I got uh, Mrs. Spit and Fire and there's a uh, playoff football. Who are you guys picking to win the NFL playoffs? Got two games left today. We had good two good games yesterday. We got the Bengals and the Bills there at two o'clock. Cowboys and the Niners at 530. And yesterday, the Eagles just whomped the Giants. And the Chiefs controlled the game against the Jaguars. <laughs> but man, Mahomes looked like he broke. Broke his leg there for a second. But he actually just had a, a, a serious sprain and was able to continue playing. It's truly incredible. Tokyo saying the original owner is still mad that they had a few years in the red. So now they're vampires. 
on what could be investment. Ottman, gone. Some of those new owners, though. Some of those old owners still here. I... Something doesn't smell right here. This doesn't make sense. I, I look at European sites for soccer and the interest is there. The clicks are there. The same thing is there for football and fantasy football. Like those things get clicks. MLS is not getting clicks. I mean, I wonder what the MLS Reddit's interactions are compared to other Reddit's similar other other league Reddit's. All right, so let's go. MLS Reddit 678 on on MLS Reddit. Now let's go to EPL. English Premier Uh, is there no EPL league? EPL Reddit. All right, check that one out. So 697 for MLS, 2.8K for English Premier League. Okay, now let's go to La Liga. Oh my gosh. La Liga is going to blow your mind. Maybe this is just because it's English users. English speaking users. 68 on La Liga. Is there a Spanish Reddit? Let's see. Spanish. Yeah, that's what I want to know. Is there a Spanish Portuguese Reddit? Let's go to Taringa. Taringa and La Liga. If there's some sort of thing here, La Liga, Taringa, no? Spanish Facebook. No, they don't have a. I don't think there is a Spanish Reddit. Unless I'm wrong. La Liga? La Liga? Go to Real Madrid. I mean, all right, that's another one. So let's go to Real Madrid. So 68 for, for La Liga. And give me Real Madrid. Soccer 51K in soccer. I don't have an R for Real Madrid. I bet they do. Yes, the R for Real Madrid. Here it is. Drum roll. Grr. Holy shit. 716. Remember, there was only 68, 68 for La Liga. 716 for Real Madrid. 80 for MLS. So not bad. I guess we're competing with Real Madrid, right? Could be worse. Chat, I think that's going to do it for this for this stream. Greatly appreciate you stopping by, getting ready for the season 2023 MLS Chicago Fire. Starting the season at New York against New York City FC at Soldier Field, 7.30 p.m. Maybe we'll see you there. Philadelphia at, uh, at versus Chicago the next week, Chicago versus Cincinnati, the following Miami or Chicago the following week. However, you also could be watching this from the comfort of your home for between $79 and $99 via MLS, uh, the MLS game package by Apple Plus TV. Something to think about. 100 bucks, you get every ticket to every Chicago Fire game digitally, because you're going to be able to see it, watch there. Get great insight, be warm, kept, eat your own nachos, right? Drink your own drinks. Not to pay exorbitant prices for beer. And. You also get a ticket to every other team in MLS for that cost. Something to think about. I like that. That $99, actually, that might generate interest in a way. Maybe. Maybe not. Might be another precluding barrier for some fans to get in and they can't go watch their team. 
but hopefully they figure out a way is they'll have a few buddies and they can figure out hey we could split this right chat thanks for joining us here on spitfire kick that like button comment below let us know what you need think needs to change for chicago fire to get them successful in the eyes of chicago soccer fans so they can earn their attention their eyes their money and their butts in the seats let us know can't wait to read your comments thanks for joining us here on spitfire kick that uh, like button hit that notification button that bell icon to get notified of our live streams like this we always stream every wednesday right around 7 p.m catch us on the catch you guys next time i'll see you guys later Bars. let's go